Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is What is the region around the nucleus occupied by electrons called? So in an atom, we have the nucleus, which is comprised of protons and neutrons, and a region of space around that nucleus that is occupied by electrons. So this region of space is called an atomic orbital. And certain atoms, most atoms, have multiple orbitals that different electrons occupy. In fact, due to the fact that the electron has an anti-symmetric wave function, meaning that if you place a negative in the wave function in space, then we end up with an odd parity. Because of this fact, no more than two electrons can occupy the same orbital. So this is known as Pauli's exclusion principle. And it means that only a certain number of these fermions, these half integer spin particles, can occupy a certain orbital. So the spin quantum number can be either positive or negative one half, which is represented pictorially here by spin up and spin down. So this atomic orbital, there are different types of orbitals or regions of space that the electrons can occupy. And it's quantized in modern quantum theory by the angular momentum quantum number. And this is an integer, it can be equal to zero, one, two, three, so on and so forth. As the energy level increases, you can have a different number of atomic orbitals in that energy level. And when L is equal to zero, we're dealing with what's called an S orbital. For L equals one, it's a P orbital. For two, it's D. For three, it's F, so on and so forth. And uh, these are the different configurations of the electrons around the nucleus of the atom. And again, for more orbitals, uh, for the electrons to occupy, you need higher and higher energy levels. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is What is the region around the nucleus occupied by electrons called? Mm -hmm.